yesterday, I went and visited a friend of mine in the hospital. She's actually a former employee of mine. And really listening to her and knowing her story, I decided to speak about it publicly because I find a lot of us women, we're not aware of what's going on with our bodies. We're not aware of how certain things affect us. And we don't like to speak about certain things because we feel it's too private or too intimate, but we need to. Knowledge is key and knowledge can actually save our lives. So she's in the hospital, she has really severe fibroids and she had to get a blood transfusion. Over the years, the heavy bleeding that she has for her periods has actually weakened her heart. So a lot of us, we have fibroids, we don't know, or we have fibroids and we just think that it's just so it go and we have to live with it. And we've been putting up with it for a very long time. We think that a heavy period is just annoying. You know, you end up spending so much money on pads or tampons. It's not just annoying, guys. Heavy periods and excessive bleeding actually makes us anemic. A lot of us know that part. But how many of us know that severe anemia weakens your heart muscles and affects your heart and reduces the functioning of your heart? Many never know that part. Eh? So when we found out, I think it was like maybe three years ago or four years ago, how weak her heart was, what ended up happening was, once again, her heavy bleeding. These fibroids sometimes can produce clots that not only come out when you have your period on the lining of uterus shed, but those clots actually broke off and went in her bloodstream and went to her lungs, called a pulmonary embolism. That's how she found out. She actually flatlined. She died four times on the table at the hospital and they had to resuscitate her. And when people go, so why don't you have a hysterectomy? Why haven't you had a hysterectomy? Right now, she's just not a candidate for a hysterectomy because her heart is only functioning at 30% capacity. Nobody will touch her to put her under to do a hysterectomy. So the point is, guys, a lot of us have heavy periods. We don't even realize how it has affected our heart over the years. Do your checks, guys. Get knowledgeable, get educated about your bodies, about what excessive bleeding can do to you. It's not just anemia and it stops there. It can affect the output of your heart and how your heart is functioning. So for anybody out there who does have fibroids, go and get a full exec profile done. Go and get your heart function checked. See how your heart is managing. Explore the option of doing fibroid removal, a myomectomy, or if you have to do a hysterectomy, it's better to get it done earlier than later. Don't wait, guys. Knowledge is key. Protect yourself. Protect your body. Find out what's going on with you. Do your checks, women. Do your pap smear. Do your mammograms. It's one body we have. Don't wait till you're trying to save or prevent prevention better than cure. Don't wait till something is there and try and treat it. Try and prevent it. Don't make it catch you, guys.